everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 36 Flutter tutorial. Wow, it's hard to believe we've done 36 of these. Today we're going to cover the drawer, which is a material design panel that slides in horizontally from the edge of a scaffold to show the navigation links in the application. I know you've seen these, but sometimes you got to see it to really understand it. So we're going to cover it. First thing we're going to do, if you uh, followed along in my previous tutorial, we made a live template, so it'll save a lot of typing. So I'm just going to pop open the live template here. And that imports our Flutter Material Design package. It has a main which does the run app, which starts the Material Design application. The home property of that is a new My app, which is a stateful widget, which has a create state or a underscore state of the My app. You should understand all those concepts before really proceeding further here. In there, we just have a simple template of a scaffold with an app bar and a container with some widgets in there. We're just going to run this so you can see what it looks like with the default configuration here just in case you missed the previous tutorials. So really this is all this looks like and what we're going to do is we're going to add a little button here that when we click that the drawer is going to slide out and we'll have a array of widgets that we can put in there. So without further ado let's just dive right in here. So the scaffold has another property that we haven't really played with called drawer. And in the drawer we can add, well, pretty much anything we want. So say child, and we're gonna say, and let's just say, why not? Let's just do 32.0, just because I really like that number. And the child, as you can understand now, the design pattern we've been following. Whenever you say child, it expects a widget. Or when it's a child or children, it expects a widget. So we can put literally anything we want in here. So we can say new oops, text hello drawer. And let's actually, I think hot reloading actually did take it. I don't have to reload the whole app. So now we have hello drawer. Pretty cool, huh? So what can we do with this? I mean, well, pretty much anything we want. We can put any widget in there that we want. So let's just add a few things and show how to kind of close this and do what we want to do with it. So we're going to say new column. And then we'll have an array of widgets here. And we'll say new text. I should have just kept that. Hello, drawer. And then here we'll say new, let's do a raise button. Because we've worked with the raise button before. And we are just going to say, say it's gonna be a red button. And let's give it a child of new text. And the on press, we are just going to say oops, navigator dot, and we're going to pop it under the current context. So what that will do. And I'm just going to run the whole thing over again just in case hot reloading doesn't take that. So what that will do is we have our drawer and then we have a text widget or anything else we want to put in here. For example, we have a red button that says close and we click that, boom, closes the drawer. But you can put anything you want in here. You can put images, you can put uh, text input fields, check boxes. Typically what a drawer is used for is for navigation. So you'd say that, and then you have like, you know, account, settings, map, details about whatever you wanted to do. But uh, we just wanted to cover the basics of the drawer class and how to get it open and closed. So that's it. Very simple, very powerful widget. Um, it's actually part of the scaffold itself. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this educationally entertaining. For the source code for this and all other tutorials, go out to my website, voidrealms.com. It's out on GitHub. And feel free to join the Void Realms Facebook group. We have 1,700 plus programmers out there, all walks of life. We can definitely help you with your problems.